Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jack, this is JTH Books, and I figured I'm going to do just a little, little bit of a book tag for you today. So today I'm going to do the Why Haven't I Read These book tag tag. And um, I just think it it's a fun one. And you know, if you've been around this channel for a while, you know I have a lot of unread books and there's a bit like strange reasons why I don't read them. So I figured let's talk about it. The I'll link, of course, the original video down below. And of course, there's a lot of books I could have chosen from. There is an awful lot of books I could have chosen from. And this, I just feel like I have weird reasons. When I'm talking about these books, it's broken down into like sort of categories, prompts. It is, you have classics, you have non-fiction, you have fiction, and then books you've had on your TBR or owned the longest. Now I could have shown so many books for each category, but I have narrowed it down. And of course, I want you to let me know your answers too, because that is the fun of this. Obviously, I'm, I'm just like, I'm talking to the camera myself, which is strange. So let me know your answers, but let's talk about, let's go for the classics first. So first up, for the classics. There's only one here, actually. I, I'm like, oh yeah, I've got tons of books, but there is actually only one here. And it is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Now, I am a huge, massive, massive fan of the 2019 Greta Gerwig Little Women film. I think it's a masterpiece. You cannot tell me otherwise. If you're trying to talk to the screen and tell me now, I'm not listening, I won't listen. I just think it's brilliant. I think the performances are brilliant. I think the story's brilliant. And because I think the story's brilliant, that means I've sort of decided this book is brilliant. But it might not be. Even though a lot of people love it, it has inspired many, many films. And um, oh, what's that word I'm looking for? Not spin-offs. That's not the right word, Jack, you idiot. It's inspired a lot of other books. It's been reimagined by other authors. So, you know, this is a, this is a classic. And I just... I love that film so, so much that what happens, if, what happens if it doesn't live up to it? And I only know the story from the film. So if they've made any changes, then I won't like this book, will I? But oh, should I read it soon? No, no. But this is my one for classics. It stresses me out thinking about it. Sometimes I think about doing a book versus film vlog where I read this and then watch the film. But maybe I'd watch that Winona, Winona Ryder version. But... I'm talking about the films too much. I'm supposed to be talking about the books, but this is my pick for classic. I am so, I'm just scared to read it. I'm scared to read this one. So next up we have nonfiction. Now this was a little bit harder for me to find actually because I don't have sort of a massive amount of nonfiction. And I am doing my little sort of personal challenge of reading at least one nonfiction a month. So I am getting through my nonfiction. I have to buy it quite often so I can keep up with you know, the challenge. Cause I'd be like, I can't read one this month. I have run out, but I have two here. The first one is Wayward Lives and Beautiful Experiments by Saida Hartman. And second is Deep Sniff, A History of Poppers and Queer Futures by Adam Smith. Now, very different books here, but I'll talk about Wayward Lives and Beautiful Experiments first. I can't believe I haven't read this because I hunted this book down so viciously. I went to my local author and they didn't have it. I saved up and went to London. I couldn't find it. And I had to order it online. So I, I desperately wanted this book. Then it's just sat on myself, my shelf ever since. That doesn't make sense, does it? I know. I know you're thinking that doesn't make sense. I know. And I have no idea why. But maybe it's because it is quite chunky. But it is an intimate histories of riotous, riotous black girls, troublesome women and queer radicals. I mean, it just sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm like, winner of the National Book Critics Circle Award. Even getting awards. And I can't be able to read it. The shame. The shame. So I just making me realise is I don't know. This is making me realise well I don't actually know why I'm not reading these. Maybe because you know new books come in, you get a bit excited, don't you? Time's short. But this is one. This is absolutely one. And I just oh, read it soon, Jack. Watch this back. Read it soon. And then we have Deep Sniff by Adam Smith, which is harder to say than you could ever imagine. And um. I was actually, I brought this in case the word. I had gone there to buy it, along with other ones, but I know I wanted to read this. And I was speaking to the member of staff there and he said, have you read this book? And I said, no, I've actually come to buy it today. And he said, the author's just over there. Would you like to meet him? And I said, absolutely not. I'm too shy for that. Absolutely not. But I had planned to pick this up. I like the fact that this talks about sort of a big, poppers which is a big part of the gay community but also goes into gay history and it talks about um 
history of pub raids, viral panics, and peck size of dinner plates. So again, this is a short one too, so I've got no excuse. I have no excuse, so I should just be reading these books. Fiction. The fiction I have not read. I this could be a six hour long video. Don't worry, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't make you watch six hours of me. That is probably people's personal idea of hell. But for, for for fiction, I've gone for three. I have gone for three. And um, we have My Policeman by Beth and Roberts. Darius the Great Deserves Better by Adib Karam. And The New Life by Tom Crew. Now, these all have different reasons why I have not read them. This These ones I'm, I'm very certain on. I am absolutely very, very certain on. So we'll start with My Policeman by Beth and Roberts. Now... I do want to read this because I want to watch the film with one Mr. Harry Styles. But I'm a reader at heart. I'm a book lover. So I have to read the book first. I have to read the book first. And I have not read this because <laughs> I have decided I don't like it. Which I know sounds silly. I know sounds stupid. Every person, people often recommend this one to me quite a lot. And they say, I think you'll love it. Or they love it. It's one of their favourite books. But... For some reason, which I have no actual reason for, I have decided I don't like this book. I am prepared to be convinced otherwise. I'm prepared to love it. I'm certainly not going to go into it being like, no, nope, I hate it. And I, you know, it can't change my mind. It definitely could change my mind. I even feel like it will because people love it so much. But for some reason, I have just decided this book is not for me. Oh, I can see you all shaking your heads thinking, Jack, that's stupid. I know. I know. I do not know what is wrong with me. If you do have an idea of what's on me, don't put it in the comments down below. It will just upset me. <laughs> Next up, we have Darius the Great Deserves Better by Adib Karam. I absolutely adore the first book in this duology. Darius the Great is not okay. It, I just think it, it's five stars. It's everything. I have purely have not read this one because of the fear it will not match up to the first one. Even though many people say it does. Many people say it's a brilliant duology. I... I believe it's a brilliant duology, even though I haven't read this one. I'm just a little bit scared. I'm just a little bit scared. I don't want it to ruin the first one. I I loved how he wrote the characters in the first one and how, for me, it was a different culture. But I just, I thought it was phenomenal. I haven't read a book like that where the characters sort of just slowly creep up and you think, Oh, I know these characters, even though I've just met them after 20 pages. It was a, It's a real talent from Adib Karam. And I just want this one to be just as good. I just want it to be as good. But it, it, I think it's going to be. Is it? Yeah. Have some, have some faith, Jack. And lastly, we have The New Life by Tom Crew. Now, this is a five-star prediction for me. I saw Gay's Word had signed copy in and I messaged them on Instagram and said, I'm coming up next week. Can you please save me a copy? I want a signed copy. And they said, yeah, of course, that's, of course. And um, that was the week it came out. And it was months ago it came out. It's probably heading for paperback soon. And I just, and I'm going to tell you why I have not read this. Because so many people have not liked it. So many people have said, it's as long. Some people have loved it. I've seen it in maybe one or two, maybe one. Top 10 books of the year so far. I saw it won a prize too. I mean, congrats, congrats Tom. I want to love it, do not get me wrong, but so many people have said, no, I didn't like that, I didn't like that, it's the slog to get through, I don't think you'll like it. <sighs> Fine, I never read it. You've put the fear in me. You have put the fear in me. <sighs> but look how gorgeous it is. <laughs> it's not all that, it's not all that looks, it's not all that looks, but I, I, I'm shocked at myself that I haven't read this one, but so many people have just put me off it that I can't, I can't handle it. I can't bear the disappointment of after, as soon as I heard about it, wanting it. But maybe I'll get around to it soon. Lastly, we have the books that have been in your TBR or you've owned the longest. And I know this because I recently took a photo for my Instagram, my bookstagram. There's my bookstagram. The link's all down below if you want to follow me elsewhere. And, um, well, the picture is full, but I actually have, I've read one now. Well done. Which goes against this tag, but I have three here that, I've just owned for so, so long that I haven't read it. And it is A Place Called Winter by Patrick Gale. The Swimming Pool Library by, what's his name? Alan Hollinghurst. I can't have it so long, I can't remember his name. 
and Dancer from the Dance by Andrew Holleran. They have very similar names. I nearly got confused there. But we'll go with this one first. I have seen many people read this and love it. Some people have even said to me, I've just read this. I want to know your thoughts. And I have to be like, I'm sorry. I haven't read it. Surprise, surprise. And I just, I don't know. I think when I re have queer books like this, I think there's always a chance I might find myself in them or, or find an aspect of myself in them that I can relate to. And so I'm scared that if it doesn't happen, I, I'll be disappointed. So I don't want to read them. But I've heard brilliant things about this. So I just, I just need to bite the bullet and do it. This one I picked up absolutely years ago before I started like all this bookstagram and, and um, booktube and booktok. And um, because I loved his other book, which I can't remember the name of, of course. What's it called? What's it called? The Line of Beauty. I did love that. I remember watching that TV show when I was young, which I was probably a bit too young to watch. But I remember thinking, oh. and I read the book and I actually quite enjoyed it. A bit slow, but, you know, I don't mind a bit slow sometimes. <laughs> Oh, just bashing that other book. I'm going to talk about this one. I don't even really know what it's about. Oh, well, I just read the book. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. But I love the cover. I just want to read it. But I haven't read it. I'm not sure. Maybe because of its size. See how annoying. There are all these books I haven't read, and I'm not even sure why I haven't read them. This tag has really done me wonders, making me really, really think about myself and my reading habits. I should put myself on a book buying ban until I've read all these books from this video. <laughs> That's never going to happen. That's never going to happen, friends. You know it's not going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I can hear us both laughing. That was fun, wasn't it? That was a little joke. I love buying books. And lastly, we have A Place Called Winter by Patrick Gale. Now, I remember buying this in my local stone, not even knowing if it was queer or not. I do believe it is. I do believe it is. But <laughs> I have a confession to make. Maybe. I feel like I had this on my TBR for a really long time. I read it and I didn't like it, but I have forgotten that I read it and I have rebought it. Nonsense, absolute nonsense. But I think I'm still not even sure. All I can remember is something about living in a, working in a sort of like a, until it's a fair force into, I have no idea. I have no idea. I feel like it was like a man working in a little shop and they had sex in the shop. I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like that might have happened. If I really scrolled back in my, like, Goodreads or my story graph, I'd be able to find if I read it or not. But I obviously kind of still want to read it, even if I have read it, but I didn't like it. This one confuses me. This one absolutely confuses me. But please let me know if you've ever done that. If you <laughs> have read a book, didn't like it, forgot you read it, think you'll like it, and bought it again. Or is that just me? I feel like that just might be me. I really do feel like that might just be me. So there you have it. There are a bunch of books that I cannot believe I haven't read yet for various strange, and especially one very strange situation. It is, it puts me to shame really, but you know what to do. If you want to see me read any of these books, you can tell me to put them in the jar for the vote and we'll see if, they, if I read them in the reading vlogs. If you want that to happen, comment down below. Comment down below and tell me which ones need to go in the jar. Tell me if you've done any of the same things. Tell me the book you've owned on your TBR the longest. Maybe it's, could it be a lot of years? Yeah, I'm looking at you. I am looking at you. I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'm going to speak to you all really, really soon.